Welcome Capricorns. I'm back guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome to another video guys. So this is going to be for the remainder of August from August the 15th through the 31st. And all my newcomers, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on future videos at all, okay? So before we get started, guys, um, I do want to let you guys know about my new product here. This is the Money Magnet Oil, okay? So uh, everyone doesn't know about intention oils. This is an intention oil. Um, so it's used for the purpose to attract money, attract wealth, attract abundance, um, attract new business ideas, attract, you know, just to keep things that are in the flow of abundance, okay? So this is good for definitely candle magic. This is also very good for when you're starting new money ventures, when you are um, touching important documents, you can rub some on your hands when you're meeting new people, um, you're going to talk business with people just things to go in your favor as well guys if you are a gambler you can also utilize this um i've had plenty of stories with this where my gamblers um have definitely been in luck especially in the um the california Los <laughs> that area okay um the vegas areas um this has been a really good top seller okay um but this 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 energy is for the entrepreneur. This energy is for the risk taker. This isn't for people who um, haven't already taken any steps forward to um, attract multiple streams of income or, you know, um, this is for, for the ones that are already, you know, taking those steps, um, are already into, um, you know, understand what this is used for. Okay, you can even use it on your skin. It actually smells just like money. Like, it smells just like money. Okay, because I did use money um, when I made this batch. Okay, so it smells exactly like money. You shake it, you get it going, shake it up, and you use this to. It's no wrong way to use this. You put it on your wallet. You could. Um, Put it on your purse, um, put it on lucky charms, you know, it just is no wrong way to use this actually, okay? This is going to be a $22 bottle, guys. This does include shipping in the U.S. only, okay? Orders um, for Canada and every everywhere else that isn't in the U.S., I'm currently at the moment not taking those orders, not at the moment. Um, I do need another week or two um, to get those orders rolling and going. So um, U.S. orders only. Um, if you have a question, if you are in the U.S., make sure that you contact me via email before you place your order, guys. Um, I do accept Cash App and PayPal. Um, so... That information is going to be in the Dropbox below where you can contact me via email and we can get you set up to order your money magnet oil. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's talk Capricorns for the remainder of August, guys. For the remainder of August. For the remainder of August, what messages do we have for my Capricorn? Sun, moon, and rising. I did shuffle a little off of camera, but I shuffle a few more times to get the energy flowing. <laughs> Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Okay, what messages are there for Capricorns for the remainder of August? What message is there for my Capricorns for the remainder of August? Okay, I'm here to do this one more time. Okay, so this is it. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. This same energy was at the bottom of the deck for um, Cancer. So some of you could be dealing with the Cancer. But nonetheless, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. I think mainly Pisces' energy. But this is communication. Um, and this is the Two of Cups. Wow, and the King of Cups. All water energy, okay? So I'm getting some of you could be definitely dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm getting, you know, attachments, 
a loving, caring energy. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but very loving, caring energy. The Two of Cups, this could be a bond or a connection that you have with someone. And the Page of Cups, okay? This could even be an apology or this is romance, you know, messages of romance, okay? Um, we got the Judgment card here too and the Lovers. Wow, so somebody's made a final decision on, somebody's made a final decision in love, okay? Judgment and the Lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? Wow. All right, so let's see what we got for Capricorn. All right, so we got the Ten of Wands. You feel burdened by a situation here. The Knight of Wands, yeah. Lots of back and forth <laughs> energy. We got the Seven of Swords. Somebody's a player, player. Somebody, I'm getting the energy of somebody saying that they're done being a player. Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles, all right. Page of Swords, who y'all spying on? And then we got the Four of Swords. So I'm getting like somebody's doing a whole lot of, currently you guys could be in like, I'm getting player mode. I'm getting like, you know, but I'm getting at the same time that you're kind of burnt out with the Ten of Wands here. Um, the Seven of Swords, there could spend a lot of sneaky energy. The Seven of Swords as well as the Knight of Wands. Um, I'm getting, yeah, player energy. Okay, I'm getting like someone's a player here. Um... I'm also hearing, wait till I get done playing. I'm also hearing that because we got the future energy as the four of swords. And that's kind of like where you're relaxing and taking a break from that. Yeah, I'm getting wait till I get done. Okay, <laughs> let's let's go ahead and talk because lately Capricorns, y'all been, y'all energy has been really strong. <laughs> Like, it's been straight to the point. Let's, why, why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands? Is Capricorn feeling burnt out? Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Four of Wands. Four of Wands. This could involve family, um, a com something, you know, dealing with the community, a group setting. Okay. Um, I'm getting two. I see Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Two of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm getting like not sure if you're prepared or ready, possibly to settle down. I'm getting that Four of Wands is the settle down card, the marriage card, the engagement. I feel like, you know, I'm getting like at one point you weren't sure if you wanted to settle down. I'm also getting that. Why is the seven of swords here? I'm also getting that there's a lot of player energy here. I'm getting like y'all are, you know, doing y'all thing. Six of cups. Okay. And now I'm getting like you're ready now. Two of wands and the ace of cups. Okay. So you weren't ready previously because i'm feeling like you know you was doing your thing you probably you might have been single if you weren't single you probably been doing you on the side okay but i got the two of wands and the ace of cups right here and okay i got the two of swords under that as well so i feel like you may still be a little uncertain if you're ready for real love okay with that ace of cups i feel like um why's the knight of wands here Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but very flighty energy. Um, someone that just, yeah, see, you guys have been doing some, this is one night stands, Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is just, you know, you've just been hanging around. You've been having, you know, on the, you know, dating around. You've been doing you. You've been doing you. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? So your energy is the three of wands. I'm seeing lots of waiting energy. Um, okay, waiting to tell someone. We got temperance here. And we got the Leo card here, which is the sun. 
um i'm getting like waiting to tell someone this were you waiting to tell somebody that you weren't ready to be tied down um why is the page of wands here yeah the world yeah the ace of swords yeah see like you're telling this person the truth okay um, I feel like you guys have lots of options on the table with the Seven of Cups. And you aren't ready to make up your mind with the Two of Swords because you're still doing you. Page of Swords, I feel like you guys are keeping an eye on, on someone. We got the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune that jumped out. Okay, you guys, this energy is the Devil card. Why is the Page of Swords here? the five of wands ace of cups and the high priestess and the magician Ooh. Hmm. somebody's being very manipulative somebody's making somebody mad too um maybe you're watching to see if someone's mad why is the five of wands here 10 10 guys 10 10 on the clock right now confirmation why is the five of wands here i'm getting competitiveness energy queen of pentacles you guys energy why is the queen of pentacles and the five of wands the hermit and the nine of cups yeah like um yeah like you guys walked away from something in the past okay with the eight of cups and the king of swords you definitely cut something or someone off something or someone got cut off um, somebody got a bandit left out in the cold, but somebody was saying that they want some space. Somebody spying on somebody, but somebody wants some space, some alone time. The four of swords is future energy here. Why's the future? Okay, the high priestess. Your intuition is telling you you might need to take a break, possibly from partying, being on the scene with the three of cups. I'm getting that someone could be having regrets. Okay. Why is the three of wands? I'm getting lots of waiting energy from you guys. The tower. Oh, the ace of wands. Yeah, you were waiting for this to blow up and blow over so you could start fresh. Because I got the tower and the ace of wands. That's a new start. Okay, why is the ace of wands here? To be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I got Scorpio's energy here as well with the tower. The Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords, yeah. See, there was some type of, uh, something all of a sudden uh, went down and burning and ended. Okay, yeah. You was possibly trying to avoid it with the Nine of Wands, but it happened. Okay, something here happened. Um, and you were waiting to tell this person, like, look, I'm really not really ready to settle down. Um, I'm still out here doing me. You may be spying on this person or this person is spying on you. Somebody's watching somebody to see if someone is competing with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be, you might feel like someone's watching you and competing with you. So you you possibly want to give like some space. Monster High Priestess here. This is Cancer and Pisces, this energy. We got the justice card here. You could be dealing with a Libra, but I'm getting as well. I'm getting like someone is telling their side of a story or someone. I'm getting like someone's telling their side of a story. This person is very hostile towards you with the seven of wands. They feel very hostile. Yeah. Emperor Aries could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, but they're really hostile. Like, their um, Seven of Wands energy is hostile energy. Why is the Emperor? And on top of that, the Emperor, like, he's demanding and controlling. Why is the Emperor in here? Yeah, this person got an attitude. <laughs> they're pissed with you. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Moon. Okay. Six of Wands. You're feeling successful. Oh, you feel like you won the battle. 
you feel like you won the battle. So there was a competition here because we got you winning this battle. We got the Six of Wands and the Five of Swords. So you did what you had to do to make sure that you came out on top. Okay, the Five of Swords is the Jealousy, Deceit, Envy card. But see, you had your guard up this whole time. Like, you wasn't going out like no sucker. How's the Five of Swords here? The Star card. Yeah, so some of y'all feel like y'all are celebrity with the Six of Wands and the Star card. Definitely. You're not going to give this person another chance. Four of Cups and the Just... The just judgment card you're not ready to, you're not willing to give this this thing another chance why the star card you know? could be dealing with an aquarius yeah i feel like you cut this person off we got the king of swords and the three of swords right here there's a breakup a split or something to that nature or three people involved we got the king of pentacles you guys' energy so i'm getting like you told this person straight out that you weren't ready to settle down and because you were still out here doing your thing um they're pissed about it but it looks like you're coming out on top it looks like you feel like you won this if this was like a competition or a battle or something to that nature like you feel like you feel like you dominated and you won <laughs> all right so Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, okay? I will chat with y'all later, all right? And don't forget to order your money oil, guys. Until next time, ciao.